Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to uh, Pokemon Blue Mystery Dungeon Part 14. Sarah's studying again. Sarah is studying again, so it's gonna be me again. And this time, we are going to Tiny Woods for a re Reviver Seed. It's a rescue mission on floor two. Find a zigzag gun. Yay. So enthralling. Let's not forget to bring Rayquaza. To get that glorious pickup. Pick everything up. Take the mounds of dirt with us. <laughs> okay. Uh. God, that's so dumb. Why am I laughing at my own joke? Yeah. But I will be showing you guys exactly what Pokemon are in Tiny Woods. Even though none of them are recruitable, I will show you each of them. And I hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll be right back with that information. Alright, including with this wonderful Tiny Woods music, I will give you the information for these Pokémon. Pidgey you can encounter on floors 1 through 3, the stats of it aren't that great, it doesn't matter though, it's not recruitable. And it's only found at level 1, Sunkern is found on levels 1 through 3, and it is level 1, and not recruitable. Wurmple is also found on floors 1 through 3, and it is not recruitable. And then Execute is also... Well, actually, Execute is only found on floor 3, and it is level 1, of course, but is also not recruitable. I don't know what it is, how, why they decided it'd be this weird, but none of the Pokémon you can recruit in this dungeon... There are no Pokémon you can recruit in this dungeon. I was stifling a yawn there, sorry. Yeah, you, you can't recruit Pokémon in this dungeon. I, I don't understand why. But they did that! Oh well. Alright. So, going on. See you right back in the dungeon. And off to the dungeon we go. It's actually been a little bit since I hit the record button. There were some things in between that I needed to do. And... Well, I, I was gonna say, I hope I remember what I need to do, but this game is really simple. Awesome. Stuff. More stuff. I like getting stuff. And that's why I'm getting stuff for rescuing the zigzag goon. Alright. Yes, I want to leave. Thank you for rescuing the zigzag goon. Here's your reward! The promised reviver seed. Yay. I also got a max elixir for that. Huzzah! Five, po five points. Five. This is just five. Nothing big. See you tomorrow. We gotta. I'm. I. For when Sarah gets back, I'll give Sausage a completely wrong voice. Alright. Now we're actually going to go to the next story area, get some reserve for eye receipts, and some max elixirs. I've learned my lesson. Get out of here, Pelipper, I wanna do things. Oh. Our five receipt. Special band. Gravel Rock. This is the only one really worth it, but I have to accept them all to get them out of the way. Awesome. And let's read this. Dungeons and Weather. One. Sunny boosts fire type moves and weakens water type moves. Sandstorm regularly inflicts damage except on ground, rock, and steel types. Cloudy. All moves and attacks, excluding the normal type, are weakened. Rain boosts water type moves and weakens fire. Prevents explosions. That's, that's different in this game. Is it? Actually, no. Now that I think about it, I, I don't know. I'm gonna take this tiny woods job and I'm gonna delete the other two. It's not worth having them. It's really not. Okay. We're gonna get Rayquaza. There are... There's something I want to do in town before I want to go. Because I don't want this area to... I mean, this episode to be filled with me telling you, oh, hey, this Pokemon's in this area. This one's in that area. These guys are here. You know, I, I don't want my 
hearts to be filled with that. Managing my inventory, the most fun. There's this YouTuber I watched a long time ago, and uh, everyone would request to watch it when he managed his inventory, and I never understood why, but you know what? Sometimes it can be interesting, I guess. I mean, if you really want to watch me do this, you, you can. I mean, there's a reason I'm not cutting it out. Alright. Uh, Reviver Seed. Maximum Seed. be well enough stocked, I don't entirely remember what this area has in store for me. I mean, I will in a few minutes when I, uh, do the cutaway for you guys. Because I do every, essentially everything live. Alright, I have, I have enough Reviver Seeds. Oh god, I have actually too many Reviver Seeds. I'm putting one back. There we go. I don't want to store anything else. I don't want to take anything else. Let's get out of here. Okay, though. Um. Yeah. So. That was all I had planned in town. I, I won't lie. It's been barely a few minutes since I did the other part. I am sorry. But. I will show you all the stats for the Pokemon in the next video. I mean, not all the stats. All the chant. I'll show you all the Pokemon in the next area. Alright, see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. So, uh, starting from the top left and going to the bottom right, because yeah, that's how we read in English most of the time. I mean, you can read another way if you want, but that's just called, I don't know, reading it backwards, I guess. Topsy Terry, whatever you want. Skip Loom. Okay. Skiploom can only be found on floors 1 through 3 at level 13. It has a negative 19% recruitment rate. Much like some other Pokemon, we'll get to how you can recruit that much later. Uh, Dunsparce! Dunsparce is a Pokemon that needs an evolution, and unlike most games in the, Mr. In the Pokemon series, Dunsparce can actually be used. Um, Dunsparce has moderate stats in this game compared to most Pokemon, considering you don't get the evolution bonuses. And, yeah, it starts at level 13, has 7.6% recruitment rate, and it, it also learns great moves. I fully recommend this Pokemon for this. Its HP and stats aren't super great, but give it gummies. Always the, if you want to make a Pokemon useful, always give it gummies. That's what you gotta do. Fanpy, Gen 2 Pokemon, found on floors 1 through 3 at level 14. The recruitment rate is 8.2%. That's actually pretty low for, and well, it's actually a pretty good Pokemon, I won't lie. It's just that, you know, you're not gonna, you're, you're, you're not gonna, probably not gonna recruit it, that's, that's it. You're really not. Though you do, though you can possibly get it, so... It may be worth it in the end. There's some other Pokemon on this list that are much more worth it. Uh, Doduo. Doduo is found on floors 1 through 4 at levels 14 and 16. I'd of course want the level 16. I don't know what it is for me and like with me and liking some more underrated Pokemon. Or maybe it's just because I like them because they're speedier, but Doduo and its evolution, Dodrio, have always had a special place in my heart and on my teams. Alright, 7.2% recruitment rate, that is, it's well worth it to me. It, lear it learned some alright moves for this point in the time, at this point in time in the generations. Not doing anything super great, it learned some alright ones. And then there's Vileplume. We're already on the Vileplume here. Um, wow, why did I say that? Vileplume can only be found on floors 4 through 6 at level 14 and is unrecruitable. You'll have to level up and evolve that Oddish. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna work out for you. You can't really do much with this Pokemon at this point. You get, like I said, evolve the Oddish, give it a lot of gummies, but it can be a very good Pokemon. The entire line of Oddish in this game, even though it doesn't seem like it because of other games, it can be very useful. 
Breloom level Bre Breloom Bip Breloom found on floors four through six at level fourteen. It is unrecruitable. Now remember Shroomish? This is its evolution. Oh my god, it's awesome. It's it's really good in this generate in this generation of Pokemon games. It is just fantastic in the way it moves and the way it fights, everything. This Pokemon is really well designed. I like this Pokemon. I fully recommend it. It, it has great stats and everything. Murkrow found on floors 5 through 7 at level 14 and 16. Wow, it's 7.2% recruitment rate. Now, Murkrow isn't actually a Pokemon that's all worth getting until the next game in the series where in which it gets an evolution. Murkrow is... Not actually not even very good in this game. Sure, it learned some pretty pretty fine moves. Pretty good moves to be honest. Like, I don't know, peck, fly. Okay, I'm joking. Murkrow's not that good. Alright. Kecturn. Found on floors five through eight at level 14. It is unrecruitable. You gotta get a Cacnea and evolve it, but actually this Pokemon isn't awful. It's not it's not a terrible one to use, and it can actually be very good. As with everything, even though I, even though I'll say some bad things about Pokemon, it's you just gotta give them gummies and they will be viable. That's it. That's what you gotta do. All right, Noctile found on floors six through eight at level fourteen and it is unrecruitable. Gotta get Hoot Hoot for that one. It was my favorite HM slave in Generation Two. Right, Heracross found on floors seven through nine, at levels fourteen and fifteen. This Pokemon is great. There's a reason it has such a low recru recruit rate, not catch rate. Yeah, I keep having trouble saying that. I don't know why. Right. Yeah, but this Pokemon, I fully recommend it. It's even in this game, it has great stats. Uh, even in uh, even it even has a great move pool. I I have there's no reason to not get this Pokemon really. Well, if you can, obviously don't spend 30 hours trying to grind for this thing because it's not gonna just pop up. Come here on missions, and if you get it, you're good. Ariados! Oh, you have my heart, friends. Just like Heracross. Levels 8 through 11. I mean, floors 8 through 11 at level 14. It is unrecruitable, unfortunately. Gotta level up that Spinarak. Tauros! Level and floor 10 through 12 at level 15. 7.9% recruitment rate. Tauros is actually another one of those Pokemon that's really good, but kind of underrated. Um... In this generation, since it's within the Gen 1 remakes, it's actually still very viable. It In later generations, it's still good-ish, but it's not as good as it is here. It, it gets, with a physical special split in the next generation, it becomes not as good as it once was. All right. Now, Houndoom. Houndoom is an interesting one. It's found on floors 10 through 12 at level 15 and it's unrecruitable. I, I love Houndoom. I honestly do. It's got a great design and I also love, for people that are up to date on Pokemon, I love its Mega. It has a great Mega evolution. And it is a Fire Dark type, making it immune to Psychic and some other typings. And it's got, it's got great moves. I, there, there's so many reasons to use this Pokemon. Unfortunately, not so many reasons in this generation. It's... If I remember correctly, it's mainly a physical type attacker. And eh, hold on a second. You know what? I stand very corrected. It is actually a special attacker. Meaning its move pool is actually fairly good for use, considering this is before the physical special split, so fire type moves are actually still special. However, dark type moves... No, dark type moves should be special at this point, so yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a fantastic Pokemon that I do genuinely recommend if you can get it. Yeah, never mind that, it's, it's actually pretty good. So, alright, right, we'll get right back to the dungeon right now. Arriving at Great Canyon. Our first story segment in a while. Well, personally a while, it's been a few days. This is the Great Canyon. The peak is called the Hill of Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hill of Ancients is on the 13th floor. Zatu should be there. Patty Cake, let's do our best. Okay. Still disappointed I couldn't put in Patty Cakes. Okay, now, 
this dungeon will actually pose a threat to me because a lot of Pokemon in here are ground type. Well, not a lot of Pokemon, just Fampy, but that's still enough, man. It actually disappears on floor three. What am I talking about? Oh, I mean, that didn't have much use, but I appreciate it. Good job, Zigzagoon, using that blast seed. Oh wait, do I, I think I have the friend area for you, Dunstar? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. All right, no miss. Uh, that's that's a signal that I'm not gonna get. Hey, 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 don't run from me. Yeah. Yeah, Dunsparce isn't worth a whole lot of experience. Overall, it's not a Pokemon really worth killing. I mean, making faint? I don't know what happens in this game series. But yeah, it's not a Pokemon worth grinding against. Now, Breloom or Vileplume are. But those appear much later. Well, not much later at this point. Ooh, frame skip. That was weird. So, remember on floors 4 through 6, uh, Vileplume and Breloom start appearing. Well, let's start on floor, uh, start, they start on 4. I'm gonna move on from this one. But anyways, I love up. Uh, I think I actually got some pretty good stat boosts for myself there. They're all in the right stats, at least. Watch, Sausage is gonna have to- Oh, a Link Box! You guys can guess what that's for. It's for something cool. Alright, yeah. Dos. Dos. I really don't want to do battle with many Pokemon here. Yeah, they do a lot of more damage than other areas. Ooh. What am I doing? I want to use the move Ember. And burn this Cacturn. Breloom. So if this is an insta kill. Oh, good. Yeah, a Breloom can actually do quite a bit of damage to you. Got that Murkrow out of the way. And, oh, already moving on to the sixth floor. Okay, as of the fifth floor, though, both Murkrow Cac and uh, Cacturn start appearing, and Noctowl starts appearing on the sixth floor. Yeah. So. Oh. Hi. Did I say Nocturne? I meant Noctowl. Noctowl. What's Noctowl? Oh, Shin Megami. That's what I'm remembering. Never mind. That's for another time. All right, this is this is where the floor starts getting real good, because Heracross starts appearing. Da da da. Heracross is a fantastic Pokemon, and I do believe I have the friend area for it. Just wanted to make sure everyone was within range to attack this beast. Oh, jeez! That is a lot of damage. Um, yeah, I can recruit Heracross. Let's see if I can get him in within the next two floors. Because I am not sticking around here for super long. It becomes a problem. Yeah, a problem dealing with uh, your enemies that appear. Yeah, that's. Ooh! Come on, Heracross! Ooh! Oh, that was close. Oh, come on! Please! 126 experience, that's pretty good. That's the same as Breloom, isn't it? I think that's the same as Breloom. Ooh! Heracross again! Well, oh, never mind. I thought I, I thought I lost there. <sighs> I stopped breathing and held my breath. Okay. Uh, back to. Oh, that's right. Arida starts appearing on floor eight. Not concerned though. Sausage grew to level eighteen. Oh come on, Sausage. Why are you getting so much better stats? Stop getting better stats, Sausage. Yeah, don't you guys know I'm the best? I'm, I'm truly the best. 
Um, yeah, that's why I'm that's why I'm hiding from the cactern. Don't judge me. Yeah. Uh, going forward, back down here. Uh, come on, another area dose. Please hit. Please hit. There we go. Okay. Where's the Where's the dungeon exit there? Wow. I'm not having any luck finding the dungeon exit. I don't want to fight that. I just want to move on. There we go. Alright, now we're on the ninth floor and... Heracross stumps appearing after this floor. So I'm actually going to use a max concern myself because... There's, there's a surprising amount of grass types here. And, by the way, for reference, uh, Eridos, Eridos is actually one of the best ones to grind off of. Eridos and, uh, Cactern. And they're fantastic to level grind off of. Oh no. Whew. Okay, take out that Heracross, it's just the bigger threat. Are you serious? Pursuit twice? Oh, I didn't use a Reviver Seed. I got very lucky there. Oh, using Constrict would have gotten me. Well, I mean, if Constrict hit. Seriously? Don't you know I breathe fire? Alright. Going back... Ooh, no, not going back. Going forward. I, I, I see that a lot, though. Am I truly advancing if I'm staying in the same place with my dialogue, with my banter with myself? Hey, me, how am I? I'm doing good, me. Oh god, that's cringy and awkward. Ugh. Uh, ooh. Do not, do not KO. Oh, awesome. And Rayquaza leveled up again. Stop leveling up so quick. Actually, wait, no. Keep leveling up really quick. Did you get an item and I just didn't notice? You did. Alright, you can use that. I, I've been- I've just been non-stop giving, uh, Rayquaza there gummies. For the purpose of it becoming strong. So it can actually be used. Yeah. But it's pretty strong when it comes to attacking, but when it comes to taking hits, oh my god, it's terrible. It's one of the worst... It's one of the worst ones in the game, I think. Alright, there was an item down here. Badger Berry. Never mind. I'm not interested. Ooh. Okay. I'm interested in money. Money is always good. Stairs down, we're finally on the 12th floor, and after this, we will be... Ooh. Your monster found gravel rocks. Found gravel rocks and they didn't stack automatically. Monster. But after the 12th floor, we'll be at the end of the dungeon. Now you guys are probably all wondering what I prepped myself so much for. We're gonna find out soon. I hope. There's the chance that I'll just get wrecked by Tauros somehow. Alright then. On to see Zatu. It's the Hill of Ancients. Look! Over there. It's, it's weird. I, I'm not in the habit. I'm still not in the habit of reading off dialogue. Sorry for that. Patty cake. Is that Zatu over there? Excuse me. Are you maybe Zatu? Ignore my speaking voice. <laughs> Hello. Maybe he doesn't hear me? Hello? 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 
it's useless. He's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping with his eyes open. Patty cake. What should we do? Oh boy. I'm gonna tickle him. Huh? Tickle him? Okay, it's worth a try. Good tickle. <laughs> and with your attack lowered enough, will you snap out of it? <laughs> God, this is dumb. I love it. It's no good, Patty Cake. He's not responding. Yeah? <laughs> He's finally laughing now. Is he just dense? Yikes! Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed. I am so too. Ah, yes, what a face there. What a face. You discern my true identity. You are not an ordinary. Ah, uh, oops. Bart. Guess your, guessed your identity? That's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are no ordinary Pokemon. You are human. Yes? Huh? How can you tell that? Well, he's a psychic type. That's how. Stare into the sun, unblinking. Oops. It gives me sight for all things. The past and the future, too. If you know, please tell us, Satu. Next to me is my friend, Patty Cake. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon. And without any memory as a human. Satu, you can tell, can't you? Please tell us. The calamities of nature, there have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset. And you're becoming a Pokemon. They are tied together, inseparably so. Wait, Patty Cake and be becoming a Pokemon and the natural disasters are related? What do you mean? What does Patty Cake have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? That's a really pretty background, though. That's like that, those are some really nice sprites for the background there. I love that. What is it? Why did you clam up? Please tell us. Please. There are bigger concerns. I am afraid. The world's balance. It must be restored, or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Huh? You're serious? The world? The unthinkable is coming? Every day I see it. The same future every day. I dread it. Satu? I fear the world's destruction. The world's destruction? Of course, Gengar is watching. Kiki! Isn't that a surprise? That patty cake was human. That's going to be useful. This should be interesting. Kiki! With Gengar going off to tell everyone. I can't really think of what good's going to come of this. Good morning, Patty Cake. Let's keep, keep doing good. Actually, I want to ask you something. What do you think about what Satya said yesterday? Does it bother you? Well, yes. Yes, I guess, I guess you would be concerned too, Patty Cake. There's supposed to be a link between the world's balance, the world's balance being upset, and how you became a Pokemon. And because of the world's natural upset, upset balance, natural disasters have been occurring. And more than anything, he said that the world that the world will be ruined if the balance isn't restored. I want to do something. 
but there's something I don't understand. So, uh, the world's balance. What is it? Patty Cake, do you know what the world's balance is? Of course! Oh, really? Patty Cake, you know? Please tell me. What is the world's balance? It's in space. It's in space. <laughs> in space? Like where the stars and the moon are? Like that space? Hmm. I'm getting even more confused. Okay, so where exactly in space is the world's balance? If you go, you'll see. <laughs> to space? And how do we get out to space? On guts. What are you saying? Guts? If that's, all, if that's all it took, none of this would be necessary. So you don't know either, Patty Cake. I can't imagine what the world's balance is about. I had him going for a while there, though. <laughs> I'm not the best of friends. To be honest, I don't know what we should do. I guess we'll just have to do what we can, one thing at a time. Alright. So... Let's check the town. Huh? What are they chatting about? Yeah, I'm kinda shocked. I always thought it was only a legend. But could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. Hi, what's happening? Well, do you know the Nine Tails legend? That old story? The Nine Tails legend? What's that? You don't know? You know, it's that old fairy tale. How you'll get cursed if you ever grab one of Nine Tails' tails. All this time, everyone thought it was just a legend, but lately it's been rumored that maybe it really happened. Well, it is still a mere rumor. I wouldn't put too much stock in that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors of that sort. If you want to know more about the Nine Tails legend, I'm just giving them a whole bunch of different voices, Jesus. If you want to know more about the Nine Tails legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Whiskash. He knows the story well. Whiskash is, uh, you know, in, the, in his pond. You should visit him if you want to know more. Well, this is still a rumor. I don't put any stock in rumors like that. Or are you just gonna say what they just said? I always... Uh, yep, 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 yep. They're just saying what they just said. Yay! Wishcast told us folklore from long ago. It was fun! The folklore was fun and interesting. Wishcast is very wise. So says Metapod and Caterpie. So it must be true. Ho ho ho! You wish to hear me tell old folklore? What was that? You wish to hear about the Nine Tails legend? Yes. Ho ho ho! Fine then. Let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Nine Tails. Now Nine Tails had many tales, all of them imbued with psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tail would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone so foolish as to grab a tail. And it was human! A human? Yes, a human. As one it might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself with the, to absorbing the curse. Whoa, jeez. Why? Why would that Pokemon, Gardevoir, take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Okay. But humans... Aren't there good humans and bad ones, too? Well, yeah. Wow, that felt really... Okay. Correct! Taking pity on Gardevoir, Ninetales asked the human this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir? It asked. But the human had already abandoned Gardevoir and fled. Ninetales became disillusioned with the human. And it made this prediction. 
That human will one day be born, reborn as a Pokemon. What? A human turned into a Pokemon? And when a human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that is how the legend ends. Well, did you find it interesting? Aha! You found it so interesting, Interesting, you're at a loss for words! Ho ho ho! There's no need to wear such a serious expression. Certainly some rumors say that the legend may actually be true. But it is only mere ancient folklore. It is only ancient folklore. Nothing more. If you feel the urge to hear me tell my tale again, come see me! Ho ho ho! That was interesting. Alright, so... That's it for this. Uh, never mind, I'm gonna go put that money up. It makes me feel unsafe. Yes, I want to store all of my money. Please do guard it jealously. Yes, excellent. Thank you, thank you. I'll head back to base. Can't seem to get motivated today. Eh? Ooh! Join us next time for more story. Dun dun dun. Alright. The link to the playlist in the top left, Patreon in the top right. Or however YouTube's doing it now, it's been doing it weird. Sorry folks.